Close your eyes. Take a good long deep in and out breath. And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. As for anything else that comes into the mind, you can let it go. This is the good part of the meditation. It gives the mind a chance to put down its burdens and just look after itself. Because the goodness of the mind can get worn away very easily by taking on too many responsibilities outside. Lots of ways you can wear it away. Sometimes you're not be, you can be very irresponsible, but you're looking after outside issues. And the mind itself gets, gets weak. Whatever inner wealth it may have just gets wasted away. So training the mind to be still like this is a form of inner wealth. It's a form of inner strength. Because a lot of times we know what is right and what is wrong, the right thing to do and the right thing to say, and the wrong thing to do and the wrong thing to say. But we don't have the energy to do the right thing or say the right thing. So here's a way of strengthening the mind so that when a difficult situation comes up, you can do what's right. And then when you look back on it afterwards, you say, I'm glad I did it that way. That, is, that too is strengthening to the mind when you can look back on your actions and realize that they were not harmful, and that you're actually able to do the skillful thing even when it was difficult. So take some time to strengthen the mind here. It's like an exercise for the mind, the same way that you exercise the body. Here we're exercising the mindfulness, we're exercising the alertness of the mind. Mindfulness is keeping something in mind and not forgetting. Alertness is watching what's actually going on right here, right now. For those qualities to be strong, they have to be exercised. You have to use them day after day after day, and use them with good things. Something like the breath. The breath is the energy that holds the body and the mind together. Without the breath, we'd be going our separate ways. And so the breath is good for the body if you look after it, and if you look after it, it's also good for the mind. If you don't look after it, you can start breathing in all kinds of strange ways. Greed, aversion, and delusion take over. They do the breathing. And then you end up with an uncomfortable place for the mind to stay in the present moment, and the body gets harmed as well. So at the very least, try to breathe with knowledge. Breathe with a sense of goodwill for yourself and goodwill for all the beings around you. Because after all, if you learn to be more skillful in your actions, you're not the only one who benefits. Other people benefit too. It all comes out of this. The, the energy from the breath is what allows you to act in body and speech. So make sure that this energy is good. And that way the goodness you know of what is right and what is wrong actually gets put to use. Because you have the strength to put it to use. The things that are difficult to resist, you learn how to resist them because you've got this sense of inner well-being. It makes it a lot easier to say no to things you know are going to be wrong and easier to say yes to the things that you know are right. After all, that's a sign of a person's discernment, is when you know something is wrong but you like doing it, but you can still keep yourself from doing it. Or if you know something is right but you don't like doing it, you can get yourself to do it. You can have that discernment, and one of the ways of using the discernment is to make use of the breath energy in the body as an aid. So the mind gets trained in the, in the right way, the way you know that it should go.